Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on the Zetacraft server. I just noticed now I've got half a shadow. That's weird. <laughs> when the previous episode we built the sign in the starter town area and just played a bit of mini games with Guru MT. Yeah, that was it. And between episodes, I've been very, very busy IRL, but I have managed to sort out somewhat the storage system. So we did end up doing majority of the blocks and then some more blocks down here. These blocks are the big ones we use a lot. Nether blocks and then over here is the loading area as shown. Shulkers go there, chest items there. These I've used for little biomes. So things I won't go gather a lot of like deep dark coral and stuff. They just have like I like to call them biome boxes and then flowers and saplings and then other plants and stuff. Over here, we continue with some more blocks, the wood. So we've got the four ones we use the most, and we've got the cauldron just to show that it's a mix. We've got the planks we use the most, exactly the same. And then again, the cauldron and then the oddities. Also down here, we've got those two sorted. So it's glass and tinted glass, and then just three different leaves, the ones we use the most. And I just chuck the different ones that we have extra on top and moss. And then we've got the trash can. So over here, some things that still need homes and these can just get sorted i'll do those and then shulkers that still need to get sorted as well but that's something i'm not too worried about for now and these are all our empty shulkers from cleaning out the little house down there there's still a few things in there but we'll get to that very very soon but for now i would like to maybe expand the tower up some more so I think let's gather a bit of resources and I'll meet you up there. And just like that, we've got our resources gathered and it's time for us to start the next farm for this mega base. And the farm I'm looking into building is, well, a mob farm. <laughs> I would like to get a mob farm running, get some mob related items dropping. And the design I'm using is a design, I believe, by Nimbomb and it's a design I always use. And I'm going to be building it right over there in the center of this behemoth tower so sit back relax as we roll a time lapse creepy explosion later and me getting kicked from the server twice i finally finished it <laughs> so you might have noticed that weird cut in between or in the time lapse that's due to me getting kicked from the server not server side it's my internet so <laughs> but we finished the mob tower so the mob farm is in here and let's just quickly fly down i just spotted something but i will go look at it now so it's in there but it still needs a lot of work. It's not very efficient because it gets a lot of light. Um, it's efficient during the evening, but we have no collecting system, nothing. So that all has to happen still. But this is what I noticed. Did you see them? Did you see them? I just noticed them now. I wonder how long they've been in down there. Huh. I can't really kill that guy because we've already had a raid yeah. I don't want another raid yeah. So I might just leave them to despawn. I do believe they do despawn. And even though we've got this mob farm in place, it's still not functioning. We need to do a collection system. And the idea with all these farms are that they'll be able to turn on and off. So this one's currently off. But then when it's on, I'll AFK or I'll just be around the base. And for this one, mobs will drop. And I'm just think for now, I'm just going to use hoppers until I can do mine cards that will just feed everything towards this way. 
put it in the water elevator and take it all the way up. I don't want to take it down. I guess I could. So it goes directly into the sorting system. But I think I'd rather first send it up, do a shulker loaders, and from there we can move it around. So let's quickly see if we can figure out where, what, how. I think this will do for getting the items out of the system. So items will come in from the farm with these hoppers. Again, same system we used before the sorting system. Comparator will detect the item going in, unpower the redstone torch, pull up the piston and activate the clock that will dispense items. These items will get dispensed into a water stream that will go into an elevator over here that will shoot up to the top. And we just need to add a little slab over here and add the water mechanics. But I think for now, I'm quickly going to just add in the hoppers and just finish this part. Nice and neat here at the bottom. It's time for us to quickly build all of this up all the way to there. So yeah, let's get that going. And the elevator is done. So this is actually the ex um, exterior of the tower wall. That's why it's textured and built like this. And we'll add the rest soon. But then the elevator's over here. So I think because it's night, we are the only person on the server. Well, two people on the server. Maybe we should test this mob farm. So fly up over here. Oh, just missed it. And then let's quickly land over here. Turn it on and then fly up to the AFK spot. Let's quickly get into this. There we go. And if we go into free cam and just look, we can actually see mob spawning, getting flushed down. They all fall and die. I will be adding wither roses for those random mobs that do have feather falling on. But for now, this is just to test it. And it, oh, look at that. So let's see it again. So we've got mob spawning, maybe. There we go. Some mob spawning. Not a lot, though. Huh. Okay, let's just give it one more try. Should turn off now. Any mobs? So we have some mobs, not too much. Okay, but anyway, it's better than nothing because it just needs to run every now and then. Oh, we've got skeletons over there. Anyway, and then those items get transported here. They get shot out and they travel all the way to the top. So, yeah, kind of cool. See, there's quite a lot spawning now. Anyway, let me turn this off and just collect the few items that got pushed up there. So the next step will be adding the walls, closing up the tower to make it more efficient and just adding some form of storage system, whether it be temporary or final, that will all depend on the time I have left. But this is what we got just from that few minutes, or not minutes, even a few seconds of me showing how it works. So that's not bad at all. So you can imagine in an hour or two hours of gameplay, what could accumulate. So it's quite nice. Um, yeah. But first, there's something else. You see, the build contest has ended. The winner has been chosen and prizes have been given and we won. <laughs> we won the build contest and I'm currently standing on the build, which I could not show or could not tell you about, but this is it. And it is the little tavern build. So let's just get out of here and let's see all the builds quickly. So over there, we've got a build by Time Architect, which is one of my favorites. It's an amazing build. It's this tower. And I think my favorite part is this tree. I mean, that is just gorgeous. I love the whole curvature, the, the spiral, the spiral trunk. Sorry, I'm at a loss for words. Spiral trunk, just the way the leaves are placed and everything. And we have this tower. I think it's like a wizard's tower or mage's tower. Got some builds not going down there. And this is like the entrance, but you can't enter. <laughs> but and also it has this amazing little secret area. If you wander in. How cool is this? This is such an amazing build. I really do like this. And then over here we've got the fisherman's village. This one over here. Let's fly up. 
the fisherman's village by boss builds and again it's an amazing build i like all the different levels the texture the foliage the bushes i like the bushes and just all these little buildings and these walkways i think it's another amazing build and this look how do i get in oh i got out again <laughs> i'm sitting in this canoe type boat i love this so cool well, wrong way <laughs> then we've got the i think maya called it mysterious gallery or something in that line i saw the name but another epic build i think that's gonna make a noise when i get it there but like all these little details and stuff oh man i love it as well yeah there it goes making a noise Jules? Yeah, this is Jules Draw. Dr yeah, that's a tongue twister jewel. That is so cool. But anyway, I will give a, a short list in the description with all the builders who partake, partook in this contest, contest. So you can go check them out as well. Go see their ch channels. Go look at their channels and do subscribe. Man. Go follow them. They're amazing builders. This one is mindless. So it's like a little stable. And I believe, yeah, you go up here, then you go to the living quarters or to, I need to make sure, this is to the tower, yeah, yes, the living quarters. How cool. We did this little tavern over here. Oh, the bell's missing. <laughs> so the idea is it's on your way, long, long hot day of fishing and everything, you walk up, uh, um, across this path. You get to this point and then you get the tavern which you can go in i did not decorate it because i'm not sure if dog's going to move a villager here so i don't want to put in random stuff and then she moves the villagers but then you've got the tavern you've got a first floor and the top could be uh, like rooms maybe or even more yeah you know, maybe more rooms i don't know and you've got this little bridge that connects another building but you can also go down to where we came from or you can head on over and this is like the clock tower which it needs a ladder <laughs> and yeah so if it does have a ladder you can actually go down so ladder goes yeah and on the bottom floor you come out here again so which is cool and then this is just a little little house as well that can be used for anything so that's the thing i built and for everyone that like the build for everyone that subscribed or well, not like the build voted for the build i appreciate you guys a lot and over here we've got our prizes so it's all the prizes and a trophy with a d on for dio so cool and i think this is the one i gave which is cool but i mean gold i'm gonna need so much golden candles shulkers and diamonds redstone because i've got farms planned and i think this one more diamonds and bushes need a lot of those but yeah enough about this let's head on back to base so between those clips i also went ahead and oh that's my face built the trees here behind us they're in all four corners which i think came together quite nice let's quickly see as we fly off so they'll be in all four corners and i think that looks absolutely amazing Especially with what's going to happen up here. I think it's really going to bring it all together. So, yeah. But also, I want to mention that there is no formal video of me building the tavern. But I will be releasing it in short form format. So, do go check it out. It will be in, on the channel within the next day or two. Yeah. So, go check it out. <laughs> also, I think it's time that we maybe finish this tower so we can get the rates of this farm going up so sit back relax as we roll another time lapse
so what seems like a few seconds minutes maybe for you guys took me well over two hours to complete and just look at it in the background it looks epic already and it's not even 100 percent complete i would say maybe 25 to 40 percent because remember i want to build all the way to build height <laughs> so let's quickly just fly on over and I do have shaders on, we will switch them off right now, but let's just have a look at what this looks like and man, it looks epic. So it's been enclosed completely. We've got this textured wall and I do have a few things planned on the side here that I will add within the next few episodes, maybe in the live stream sometimes. We'll just have to see. And then this is by far one of my favorite textures and I've done it before in this build and it looks so cool. So up close, it's just alternating sta stairs. But from far, it gives you such a nice chiseled feeling. See, we did it down there as well, or somewhat the same thing. And let's just fly away and for everyone else, see what it looks like without shaders. Man, it's a nice build. It's got a few more detail. Those stairs are still there because I need to add the wither roses. I just want to make sure it's all finished. But yeah, this looks great. But sadly, that will be it for this week's episode. It's been fun creating this build and I cannot wait to continue working on it. And I just want to say thank you again for everybody that voted for me in the build contest. And also go check out the other Zetas. They were fantastic. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for hanging around. And I'll see you all in the next episode. And do remember, like and subscribe if you have not done so yet. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> have a good day, everybody.